Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the Vertigo Voses, and as you can see, the Voses are not all here today, and it's just the one Vosa. So, today I want to talk about something that is super important to me. Some people might not take me seriously because this is something that I care about so deeply, but that is hand care. <laughs> to report that Boulder Bella got her first <laughs> flapper. So if you guys remember, we talked about flappers being like when you get callus on your hands and then you like go for a sick send and it like rips your callus off and it's really gross because it's just kind of like a chunk of skin flapping there. And it sounds disgusting because it is. It's very disgusting. And I told myself that I would never have I would never have to go through this because I take really good care of my hands, but I did. And so that's why we're gonna do today's video. We're gonna talk about how to take care of your hands and how to avoid getting flappers. Okay guys, so if you have just started climbing and you're like me and you're like, oh, I'm never gonna get a flapper, I'm here to break the news to you that sadly you probably will. It's pretty much inevitable. Um, as when you become like a more committed climber, I think that it's just, it's probably just gonna happen sooner or later. So today we're gonna talk about my five tips, recommendations, whatever you wanna call it on how to take care of your hands and how to just like have girl hands because, <laughs> okay, let's be real. This is something that's super important to me because I was like, yeah, I'm so committed about bouldering. I love this. And then my hands started getting really like dry and getting all this calluses on it and I was like here's the thing boys y'all like to have your manly hands but like I'm a girl and I'm gonna get married one day and my engagement pictures need to look like I have girl hands not boy hands so we're gonna do that if you guys want to jump around in this video to see the different things that I have talked about or will talk about you can go ahead we'll leave some timestamps for you guys to go check things out okay so my first tip, trick, recommendation, whatever you want to call it is, boom, the nail file. This is something that us ladies, you probably have this laying out in your bedroom or in your desk or in your bathroom or in your backpack, I don't know. But this is something that you can use. You don't just have to use it to file your nails, but it's been very, very helpful to use this to actually file down the calluses that you do get so after a climb before a climb at the end of the night this is part of my nighttime routine um i'll just take my nail file and just like file down my calluses and just you don't want it to go completely away because the calluses actually does help you when you climb but you do want to file it down so that you won't get the flappers so yep just take a nail file also, this is not just a tip for you ladies. Guys as well, this can help you too. So hit up your sister, your girlfriend, your mom, your wife. I don't know, whatever ladies in your life, your boo thing, like hit them up. Ask them to buy it from the store for you and Venmo them if you're embarrassed. But you know, no shame in climbing. Just do it. <laughs> so the second thing on my list of tips and tricks is Climb on, and if you're new to climbing, this is something that you're probably un unfamiliar, unfamiliar with, and essentially, it's a glorified lotion bar. So instead of your lotion being a little tube, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't even open it. Okay, it's a lotion bar. That's it, it's good stuff. So basically, after I file down my hands, I like to just take this, I'll show you. I like to take it, go like this, and just run it over my hands. It's a good time. It's a good lotion-y time. <laughs> so, 
The great thing about Climb On, one, it just, it really does make your hands feel super soft, but it's, it doesn't just have to be for hands. Like, honestly, you can use this for anything. Like, you can put it on tattoos if you just got a new sick tattoo. Um, if you cut your toe, like, Grayson did. You can put some climb on on that. It'll help that out. Dry skin. Nate likes to put it on his nose when his nose is dry. So it essentially just has many, many uses. So I would say that this is definitely definitely an essential. And if you haven't watched our essentials, non-essentials video, you should watch that. But climb on. It's great. Use it. You can get it on Amazon, probably. I think you can get it at REI. It's like 11 bucks so definitely worth it okay guys so the next thing is cuticle cutters hi everybody my name is Stacy um, my hobbies include cuticle care and the e-network and so basically when you are bouldering you're using a lot of chalk and the chalk dries out your hands and because of this it's very common to get hang nails on the side of your nails or even on your feet honestly that's kind of gross but it's just a real thing so cuticle cutters are actually a huge lifesaver because you can just go snip snip bye bye hangnail and then you're all good so basically when you're climbing there's nothing worse no there's a lot of things that are worse so basically when you're climbing it just can get really painful in your shoes if like you're stepping on something your shoes are already tight so if it's putting more pressure on that or if you're like going for a crimp or whatever it is um, it just puts a lot more pressure on it and it just kind of takes away from your best climbing cell so cool <laughs> gutters okay so the next thing is tape If you watch our essentials and non-essentials video, I definitely said tape was a non-essential, but tape can actually be super helpful when it comes to climbing um, and hand care because if you do get a flapper, I hope you don't, but if you do and you don't wanna just end your climbing sesh, you could just strip some tape off. Well, clean it first, cause that's gross. But clean it, strip some tape off and you can put it, um, wrap it around and it will just help you to like, it will just create a barrier between that and your hand so that you can keep climbing because no one wants to stop climbing ever, never in their life. Also guys, if you do notice that you might be getting a flapper and you don't have access to like a nail file or anything, it's better to just be safe than sorry. It's better to just get some tape and wrap it around instead of just sending it really hard and getting the flapper. So if you could just wrap it beforehand, it would probably be very helpful for you. And if you don't have tape, then your gym probably does. And if your gym doesn't, then your friends probably do. And if you don't have friends, then make friends because the bouldering community is awesome and so friendly. And I'm sure that there's at least one person who has a lot of tape willing to tape your flappers. Okay, so the last thing is super simple, but it really is just to know yourself and to know your body um, because you, like I said, you just would rather be safe than sorry. And if you think that if you're gonna be climbing and you're trying to send a sick dyno, um, it's probably just better to just take a break and to rest and to let your hands heal instead of doing it because you want to keep climbing and you want to come back tomorrow and just try it again and it not to be painful. So just know yourself, take a break if you need to. I don't know, do your thing. You don't have to, you don't have to get that, that problem today. You don't, it's okay. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so this has been my top five tips and tricks on how to have girl hands, but I know I've been joking about having girl hands, but this really is for guys and for girls. Um, hand care is super important because it is an injury nonetheless that, yes, bouldering can be a very dangerous sport and you can have some injuries like a sprained ankle or a broken ankle, hopefully not, but that's an injury and so are flappers because essentially, yeah, one's gonna take a little bit more time to heal, but 
Uh, flappers are also gonna just kind of take a toll on your climbing and really the goal is to just be at your peak performance all the time. So if you're consistent in taking care of your hands, um, you can just avoid those things and you can be bouldering at your fullest capacity every single time, every single day that you wanna go bouldering and yeah. Okay, everyone, this has been Hand Care 101 with Boulder Bella, aka Bella Boulders, aka Bubbly Bella, aka the Soul Vosa of the Vertigo Voses. Um, this has been my essentials for hand care, and I would love if you guys would just leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about some tips and tricks that you guys have, any recommendations, because I'm always looking to see what's good for my hands. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you haven't already yet, go ahead and check out our most recent video that we did. We'll have the link right here, but it is essentials versus non-essentials for beginner climbers. So we talked about some of these things like nail files, and climb on and we'll just go into deeper depth about that in that video and if you haven't yet please follow us on social media we are at vertigo voices and thank you guys for watching this video and we can't wait to see you next time